Hello again. Now the main stories in London. The government is planning to intervene in the running of Tower Hamlets Council after an official report accused it of failing to provide best value for taxpayers. The local government minister, Eric Pickle, says he plans to send in three commissioners to help run the council until 2017. The independent audit, which investigated the payment of grants and the sale of property, accused the council of poor governance and a lack of transparency. But it didn't find any individual responsible for any wrongdoing. It paints a deeply concerning picture of obfuscation, denial, secrecy, the breakdown of democratic scrutiny and accountability, and a culture of cronyism risking the corrupt spending of public funds. Today, the council said no evidence of criminality or fraud has been identified by the government-appointed forensic auditors. In our view, there is no evidence that these flaws of process are regular or endemic, meaning that there is no failure to comply with our best value duty. We'll have more on that story on our programme tonight at six. A man murdered in Southwark on Friday has been named as 18-year-old David Maxwell. A post-mortem examination found he'd been stabbed to death. A 20-year-old man is being held at a South London police station on suspicion of murder. The fiancés of two cyclists who were killed by a man driving a stolen BMW are calling for longer sentences for dangerous drivers. Chris Jarvis and John Morland died after a crash in Purley this year. The driver had been speeding while over the drink drive limit despite his licence being stripped. He was given a 10-year sentence, but his victim's partners say that's not enough. A debate will take place in Parliament today, which they hope will lead to a change in the law. It's taken everything away from myself and from Hayley and we, I mean, Hayley have got to try and make a future and we just can't. It's just Chris and John were our future and now it's just horrible. An online petition has been set up to keep the display of poppies at the Tower of London for another year. The installation includes more than 800,000 ceramic flowers, one for each British and Commonwealth death during the First World War. It has attracted huge crowds but is currently due to stay in place only until Armistice Day on the 11th of November. Time for a look at the weather now with Martin. The seasons make our suits. New Covent Garden Soup sponsors the ITV London weekday weather. Hello again, staying sunny and relatively chilly for the next few hours. And then tomorrow a similar day, bright and breezy, but with a few more showers around. Plenty of sunshine out there at the moment, relatively chilly though, as I mentioned. Then it's a chilly night tonight, some clear skies, meaning temperatures dipping down to about five degrees, similar to last night, but less misty and foggy. Then a decent start tomorrow morning, quite chilly, bit of cloud around, one or two light showers dotted around. Those showers continuing into the afternoon, particularly in the second half of the afternoon, but plenty of sunshine and similar temperatures to today. New Covent Garden Soup sponsors the ITV London weekday weather. And that's all we've got time for this lunchtime. Join me again at six for the latest on all of today's top stories. Until then, from all the team here, whatever you're doing, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Bye-bye.